Hello and welcome to my channel. Um, my name's Kitty and today we're going to be doing an incredibly different unboxing to everybody who has done an unboxing on YouTube apparently. Um, we are unboxing the Joy Crate and I say incredibly different because I've not seen anybody else review this box in this way at all. Um, my box is incredibly late. Um, it arrived two days ago and a lot of people had theirs about three, four weeks ago I believe. Um, I am very late in getting my box so not only have I had all the spoilers from social media, um, I've also had spoilers from um, the official Lunacorns Facebook group and I also had spoilers from the Litjoy site themselves because they put everything out on sale. So I know everything that's in this box, um, which is really a disappointment um, because it, it takes away so much of the magic from the box. Um, and so really today what we're doing is reviewing the quality of this. I can't show you the actual box because it's got stickers of my dress all over it so we're not going to do that. I have to be very careful not to show you. Okay now the first thing is Witch Weekly uh, with Gilderoy, whoa, Gilderoy Lockhart on and um, this is the cheat sheet um, which I mean, I know everything that's in it, so I may as well go through and actually tell you what everything is supposed to be. Um, may as well spoil it for me. So, the first item... I just like to say, before actually talking about the item... I don't know why this is in plastic. Get rid of the plastic before we continue talking. Now, I suspected that this was going to be the case. This is very cheaply made. Um, I've seen in sort of local market stalls, um, you know, those street market stalls that you find in the middle of city centres. Um, I've seen, <laughs> I've seen these, um, and they're as cheaply made as this is, and they're normally about a pound, one pound fifty. I can honestly say I am never going to wear this because I really don't think that this goes with my hair. <laughs> um, yeah, it's. It's not me. Um, I know that it's supposed to be like the one that Ron wears and I think Fred and George. Let's find it in here. Yeah, Ron Weasley Beanie. Could it even be a burrow themed crate if we didn't include a nod to Moddy Weasley's famous knitted apparel? <sighs> Yes, yes it would be. The seam doesn't even line up with the the end. It's it's not my cup of tea and it's not made well. Um, I think that they're selling this on the site for like £15. I would save your money and go and buy a cheap one because honestly it's going to be the exact same. And you can also see here and this is without even any wear <laughs> it's all falling apart so and I know that that bit would fall apart anyway but for it to well arrive like that not good okay next we have this candle um, and this is Molly's Mo oh. Fell off. 
<laughs> Molly is marmalade. This smells like... I don't know if this is mean to say. It smells like a toilet product. You know when you get that orange sort of scented toilet cleaner or sort of like bathroom disinfectant? That's what it smells like. <sighs> yeah, I like the idea. Again, feels cheaply made. You can see all the wax coming down the, the jar. Um, for some reason, the wick is trying to escape from the jar as well. Oh, <laughs> and we've just lost the tag. Um, my fault, not their fault. Um, yeah, it's a nice thought, but again, cheaply made, I believe, because that's not an overly pleasant smell. Um, anyway, um, this, again, sadly, I know exactly what this is, and also, I don't know if you can hear that, but make some noise now this is one that i was actually really interested to see the quality of okay so it is a good quality um <laughs> Yeah, I'm not a fan of the coins. They are beautifully made. If it's something that you like, then go ahead and collect them. But it's... I'm not a fan, honestly. Now, what I have, something I have, was a fan of is this. Um, this is the denoming spray. It's blah, 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 denoming spray, um, which doesn't... Gnomes don't actually feature in the films, they only feature in the books, which is a little bit sad, but I can kind of see they didn't really do anything for the story. Um, but yeah, absolutely love the box. And I think this is going to be incredibly similar to the last crate where we had um, a perfume bottle inside a box and I was, you know, more impressed by the actual box itself than the product. Um, but yeah, these are beautifully made. Um, and I think with literally you really are paying for the packaging over the actual products. Um, because the products, honestly, you can make yourself. At least I think, anyway. Um... So yeah, this is denoming spray. Very simple. You can buy these cans for about seven pounds um, off of like eBay and Amazon. Um, you know, relatively cheap if you actually wanted to make it yourself. Um, all they've done is just put a denoming sticker on there. Um, I think it's fun, it's something that I genuinely will actually use, um, but yeah, no, they are little, you can use them as watering cans as well, they are a really good idea, um, sort of, I think probably is going to be my favourite product out of this box, um, although the sticker is wonky, so that's <laughs> a, bit, a bit annoying, um, but yeah. I will use this probably as just a watering can um, and then I think this box is probably going to be used on my Harry Potter display back here um, 
yeah, which is is nice. I have a product from one thing. I have a product that I can use, and then also something I can display. So I am happy with that one. That I am happy with, and I think that they're selling it for. I said I think I said fifteen pounds last time when I mentioned the hat. I think it's fifteen dollars, so it's less than fifteen pounds, but. I don't know the conversion, and I think that they're selling this for $12, um, which I'd actually say this is an incredibly good price, um, if you're also using it for the, the packaging. Um, if you just want the watering can, I'd say make your own, um, and put the sticker on correctly. <laughs> but. Okay, next we have this, and I believe this is Miss Weasley's recipe book. We have a nice bag, which I don't know what I'm going to do with that, but... <laughs> I am a little bit disappointed that this has already got dents in it. I don't know if you can see this, but there's a dent that sort of goes along here. I don't know if you can see that on camera. But yeah, it's already got dents in it, which... I mean, it's disappointing, but at the same time... It probably would have dents in it if you just picked it up out the Weasley's house. But at the same time, I also don't want dents on a product that I'm going to be using in my house. I don't know. Um, I think it's nicely made. Um, it's very cheap wood. Um, sort of like chipboard almost. Um, it has sort of laser cut, you know, Weasley's family recipes. Got a little turnip there and some decorative bits around here. Now, these are the things I didn't like, because when you open this, first of all, it's very wobbly. Second of all, when you try and put this down on a recipe stand, or even just on the, the surface, it's sort of, these are gonna stick out and aren't gonna be, but, that's a, a small issue I have with it. Um, the second issue I have with this is that... Okay, it's falling apart. Um, so the third issue that I have with this... Um, is that we don't actually get any family recipes. I think it would have been so nice to get a couple of... You've got a recipe... I've only got one recipe card. I'm sure I've seen people with videos with about six recipe cards. I mean, I can just photocopy this, but... Am I supposed to have more recipe cards? <laughs> what? Well, you get a recipe card. Um, you might get more, I don't know. I'm sure other people have got more. Um, but yeah, I think, again, I think it's... N I don't like the fact that this is... These are photo... Um, slip... Don't know what you call them... Things... Um, you know, it sort of almost looks like... I mean, I guess you can use it as a photo frame. I wouldn't. Photo frame, photo blow album. Um, it's not something personally I do. Um, but as time goes on, because these are, again, relatively cheap, um, and these um, little rings spin round, they are going to catch on here, and they've also already started catching on there. Um, and then these are probably going to rip off quite easily. This is again more of a display piece um i think if you're using it every day i think it's gonna very easily get get damaged um 
yeah, I really would have liked to have some family recipe because I mean it's not difficult. Um, just print out, print out a couple of uh, couple of recipes that there's thousands of them online. Um, it would have been nice, but anyway. Moving on, we have, oh, this is the thing that annoyed me the most. This is, um, again, from the books, not from the films, um, a letter that I'm pretty sure it's Miss Weasley. I don't think it's Mr. Weasley. Uh, yeah, Molly's letter to the Dursleys. So Mo <laughs> Molly writes to the Dursleys to uh, ask them if Harry can go to the Quidditch World Cup, I believe it is. Um, and obviously they're wizards and, you know, they're sending it via normal muggle um, postage. And so they use stamps, but she doesn't know how many stamps you should use. She only needed one. <laughs> she needed one large stamp. Um, but... Uh, yeah, so she just puts all of the stamps on, and Vernon is not very happy with it. But the thing that annoyed me the most about this is that I don't know if you can see this, but they're all in cents. This is three cents. Now, we don't have cents. We have pence. Pounds and pence. So it should have been a P, and I don't know whether they were just taking some creative liberty there, but I hate it when people Americanize things, and also Britishize things that are not American or not British. And this is, was, you know, a British thing, and they've Americanized it, and I just... I'm not a fan, I'm not. Um, you know, I'm probably just gonna put all my sort of paper prop replicas, sort of the smaller ones in there that I don't want to display, um, either just cause I'm not a fan of them or just cause I'd want to keep them safe. Um, but yeah, I like this and it just really annoys me that it's three cents and seven cents and we don't have cents they should be pence um small things you know <sighs> next we have i don't know if this is the oh no this is not the last thing um a family photo frame um It's a very cheap frame. Again, probably you can find this from a pounds shop. Um, I'd pay two pounds maximum for this frame, if anything at all, to be honest with you. Um, it's a very cheap frame. I'm not somebody who would put up a picture of someone else's family in my house but this just reminds me of you know when you go to a store and you buy a frame and it has the sort of artwork and it's got sort of like that that family that you see in every single frame that a lot of the time isn't actually a real family um yeah honestly I'm probably gonna take this out and I'm I might actually make my family dressed in Weasley jumpers. I don't know. I like the artwork. However, a lot of the characters do not look like themselves. Molly, I feel like they've really captured Molly. Arthur, who is this? <laughs> <laughs> Who is this? That's not Arthur. Fred and George? No. Ron? Kind of, yeah. Bill? 
Percy, Charlie we never see, um, and Ginny, Ginny no, um, but yeah, I think they've captured some of the characters well, some of them are just very off, um, yeah, probably, um, I mean, the print is probably going to go in here, <laughs> And uh, the frame will be used for something else. Anyway, we now have a little picture of the box art, um, which is nice. You've got Ron and Ginny over here. Um, Harry and Ron seem to be denoming. Um, you've got, I think, Percy and Arthur in the flying car. Molly yelling at Arthur, um, or yelling at Fred and George, I don't know. Um, no Bill or Charlie on here though. But yeah, nice little print. Probably we'll use this as a postcard maybe. Um, but would I say that this is worth the money no my favorite product definitely was the watering can and denoming packaging that comes with it this is definitely my favorite product um purely just because it's i think not only is it practical but it also gives a very subtle nod to the, I mean, this doesn't, this is a very unsubtle nod, but this is a very <laughs> subtle nod to the wizarding world. Um, but yeah, I do really like these. Um, and this will be displayed and this will be used. Um, so that's definitely my favorite, my favorite item. My least favorite item think it's the fray? Oh, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. It's the hat. The hat is my least favourite item. This I can get absolutely no use out of and wouldn't even buy this for myself. Um, it's, I think it's just so cheaply made. You know, no thought I think has gone into this. It's it's not something I could ever see myself buying. Um, not for this quality. I think if it was a better quality um, and it was, you know, more like the quality of the one that Ron has, then I'd say yes. I think even if it was handmade, um, I think it would have been better. But this is... It... It's just a flop. It's it's cheaply made, very very cheaply made. I do feel like it is sort of a one pound item. Um, yeah, I think that's definitely my least favourite. I don't think that this is worth it. All in all, I think a, I don't know. I. I guess because I've already seen it, I already had my views on the products. Um, you know, it's sort of, I think my views weren't gonna change when I opened the box. I think if anything, they only got worse. Uh, for me, the quality just isn't there. I think if the quality was there on things, then I wouldn't be so disappointed with the things that I'm not going to use. Um, the candle. <laughs> no. And <laughs> does everything just... that? The, it, it just feels like they've just thrown it all together, to be honest with you. And I think that's their main issue, is that it really doesn't feel like a lot of thought goes into these boxes. Um, it's sort of... It does feel very rushed, um, and I think 
apart from a couple of odd products here and there I think a lot of a lot of them just don't hit